the person who sh shot Ralph Yarl uh, pled not guilty to two felonies that he's being charged with. Hopefully, uh, when his court time comes up, he is uh, he's found guilty. Also breaking this hour, the homeowner charged with shooting a black teenager in Kansas City has now pleaded not guilty. 84-year-old Andrew Lester faced a judge for the first time just a short time ago. Lester is charged with first-degree assault. That's a felony in Thursday's shooting of 16-year-old Ralph Yarl. The teen was shot while trying to pick up his younger brothers and ringing the doorbell of the wrong home. One of the lawyers representing Yarl's family tweeted out this powerful photo today. It says, it's a miracle he didn't suffer even more serious injuries. NBC News correspondent Maggie Vespa is at the courthouse in Liberty, Missouri. Maggie, I know you've been covering this from the start. This is such a startling story still. You were inside the courthouse for this right. arraignment. What did you hear and see? Yeah, Peter, we just walked out of the courthouse. Mr. Raymond just wrapped up a few minutes ago. In fact, Andrew Lester was one of several people in a block of arraignments, and the bailiff came outside before it got started and said, if you are here for the Lester case, we're going to bring you in first because we know the interest is high. We're going to do that one basically as a hearing by itself, which is what happened. Andrew Lester, 84 years old, walking into the courtroom after coming into the courthouse through a private secured entrance, walking in with a cane, walking in slowly, basically sitting first in the jury box before proceedings started. Once they did, he and his defense attorney, who did not state his name for the record, but were working to find it, walked right up to the judge's bench, Lester speaking softly, so it may have been so the two of them could hear each other. Again, kind of the big headlines from this, he pleaded not guilty in this shooting, faced with multiple felony counts for the Thursday shooting of 16-year-old Ralph Yarl. He also was told by the judge of certain conditions of his bond. Among them, he has to report within 24 hours uh, to a bond supervision company. They'll visit once every month at least after that. He has to turn over any weapons that he has to police. He cannot have a concealed carry permit. He said he does have one, so he'll turn that over as well. And then finally, and of course we expected this, he can have no contact with Ralph Yarl and his family. His attorney saying they will work with authorities immediately to make sure all of those uh, procedures are followed. And with that, Ralph Yarl and his attorney exited through that same private entrance. We have producers and crews circling the courthouse, so if they even poked their heads outside, we hope to hear of that soon. But it was a quick hearing, Peter, uh, with a lot of updates, as you said. Maggie, you also spoke to the neighbor who says that he helped Ralph Yarl after he was shot. What did he tell you? Yeah, we know, Peter, that Ralph Yarrell, after he was shot, went running for help. His family said uh, that he begged for help at basically three homes. And finally, a neighbor yelled at him to get on the ground and put his hands in the air. Ralph, this wounded kid, they say complied. At that point, that's when James Lynch, a separate neighbor from all that commotion before, says he basically heard the yelling, he came running, he hopped a fence, and he says he got down next to this teenager who he could tell obviously was gravely wounded, stayed with him till paramedics arrived. Here's part of what he told us. Take a listen. He wasn't alone. He wasn't by himself. Somebody cared. To lay there in the street alone and scared and bleeding, that's awful. I wouldn't. He wasn't alone. I was with him as long as, as soon as I knew he needed help, I was there. And I was there with him until the right people were there to make sure that he was okay. One of many people obviously so shaken by this. I do want to end, Peter, again, if we can pull back up that photo of Ralph Yarl and his attorney, his family's attorney, Lee Merritt. That photo is just astonishing, given what he's been through. He's outside, he's smiling, he's home healing. His family, Peter, saying that he is recovering from this shooting one day at a time.